Okay, I had a few subscribers ask me about the grip tape on my G19, so I figured I'd just do a video and let everyone see at the same time, uh, tell you about what it is and where I got it from. Okay, this is the rubberized texture grip tape, not the sandpaper style. I, I myself prefer the rubberized, and I've got it here on the slide, and then on the top of the slide here, and this would be, you know, to get traction if you ever were forward or you wanted to do a press check, which I don't normally ever need to do. And then this back here and here is just for traction, you know, gross motor skills. <laughs> you know, if those become weak, this will just give you a little bit of extra. You know, even if you wanted to rack the gun from up here, even though I don't do that, if you needed to for some reason, you could do that. So I like to put the grip tape on there just so it gives me something if the conditions are different or it's raining. I have something that as soon as my fingers hit it, it's going to pick up and grab like that. So let me tell you a little bit about the grip tape. It's actually done me really good and uh, we'll talk about that in a sec. Okay, so here it is. Now I just ordered this at random and I believe it was on Amazon that I found this. I was just I just started looking for it. And I can't remember the price, but it wasn't too bad. I don't, I don't know, maybe nine, ten dollars or something. So this place, and I didn't even realize this was still in here, but it's called GunTape.com. But like I said, I found this on Amazon. And uh, buy direct and save. Um, it comes with, I believe it was around nine or ten. I can't remember, but it comes with three sheets of the grip tape here. So, as you can see, um, I've used one piece there and two pieces here, and I had a piece here and here, which I'll talk about that in a minute. So that's one, two, three. I had five pieces that I cut and had this gun done, and I still have all this left. So for around $10. Now, I'm sure maybe at some hardware stores you could find this cheaper, possibly, but I just wanted it quick, and that's where I ordered it from. So this this is a thick uh, paper stock, and they're saying you could use this as a template when you cut this stuff out. Now let me tell you about on mine uh, what what went on here. I had the grip tape cut out here and here, and it was working really well. But the only problem is is that in my holster it started to wear this off here and here. It just it just wouldn't stay. It would just move. I mean, it was still sticking, but it would move it because the Kydex was tight enough that it was moving it. So what I need to do is find somebody that does professional stippling, and I need to get this right here stippled and this. And that would be for the reason of having my thumb here. You know, I'd like to have some stippling up here and also some stippling right here. So that way when I grip the gun, you know, right where my thumb's resting along here and up here, I have grip. But as far as up here and here, you can see a little bit of wear here from the Kydex holster at the top of the tape, but other than that, it's not bad. Now, if you want to know what I did to uh, cut this out, basically what I did was I just took and kind of guessed at the length and width. Well, I kind of put it on the gun like this and then eyeballed the width and the length and then once I got a, a square cut I didn't want it to be squares on the gun so what I did was I took a nickel that would kind of look something like this let's pretend this is a let's pretend that the bottom of this rim is a nickel you take the nickel up to the edge and I was using my little scissors on the squirt PS4 and then you just cut right around the edge right here of whatever's sticking on the other side of the nickel. Okay? So if the rim of this casing was a nickel, you would just cut that peak off right there and kind of eyeball it on this peak. And that's what I did because I wanted it, uh, I wanted this tape rounded off at the edges. I didn't want it to be square. I think it has a much better look. And see, it actually came out pretty good. So that's what I did at all the edges. So that's it, guys. 
just wanted to get, give you an update on this grip tape and I've had quite a few people ask me about that so just wanted to make a video and let you guys know now I'm gonna danger check got one in chamber now I'm gonna put the 15th one back in the mag well danger check this is H4T and I am out.